What's up, my LS Crazy Amigos? It's your boy Terry, Cover Man 66, speaking from the garage shop once again. Hit off for you some more Big Bang for the Buck product and info. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what we're going to be doing. Now, check this out. We all know what's going on with the Trailblazer SS. We all know that we're going to put a supercharger on this vehicle. But before you put a supercharger on it, you got to prep it. Now, what I like to do is whenever you put in some serious power to an LS engine, you should pin that crank out. When I say pin that crank out, I mean that you should put a pin between the crank and the crank pulley to pretty much secure it so it doesn't spin. Now, I got a basic crank pinning kit that you can get on eBay. You can get it anywhere. And uh, we're going to go over it real quick. I'm going to show you how I pin the cranks out, okay? Let's go over to where I keep my stuff. Okay. <laughs> We're, we're halfway there. <laughs> all right, and we're going to talk about this, all right? Let's go. So whenever you're doing an LS install, it would be a good idea to pin the crank out. So let me show you what's in the kit. This is the crank pin out kit. The kit comes with a long bolt, a drill bit, some, I don't know what this is called, but this, <laughs> and a couple of pins. Gold metal, a couple of pins. This is how it works. You know, with the LS engine, this is the crank pulley. This is a standard crank pulley. This is a pressed on fit. That means you gotta press this on to your crank. When you push in some serious power, the last thing you want to do is have this thing spinning and you're not going nowhere. So because if it spins, then I take the engine apart and send the crank to get machined. The great minds came out with a pin out kit. And this is how it works. So this is on your crank. Take this piece right here, put it like that. You're gonna put the bolt through the center, tighten it down a little bit, tighten it down, take your drill bit, and you're gonna drill in the hole. You could do one, I like to do two. After the hole's been drilled, you're gonna take your pin, and you're gonna slide it through the hole. That's it, you just pin your crank out. The LSA pulley is different from this because the LSA pulley comes with a provisioning for a keyway. Being that the keyway opening on the LSA crank pulley is smaller, than the drill that you use, I like to use that for where I make my pin out. So what I do is I'll line this up, one of these up with the keyway opening, drill it, put the pin in, and now I got a useful opening on my LSA crank pulley. Crank, crank pulley, crank, crank and pulley. <laughs> Let me show you what I'm talking about. There's the keyway opening right there my finger out the way for an LSA keyway. I'm gonna line one of these holes up right with this and like I was saying being that the drill bit is bigger than this hole it's gonna drill right into it and that's gonna be my first hole and then of course I'll make the second one over here so that's where I, I'll pin it out two ways whereas if I was to put one here one here then you got three holes and I, I don't want to I don't want to do that All right, so let's get to going the first thing I'm going to need is use a, a little screwdriver that's big enough to go somewhat into the hole, but not through the crank. And I will loosely install the tool and bolt. And put my screwdriver on one of these holes. Now I know that the the opening on the on the pulley is around here somewhere, so but it'll fall. Up oh, there it is, right there. It'll fall right in place, right there. See? This is where the keyway was on the bottom one right here. So I drilled it out, 
and used it as a pin for a pin. And then I drew the second one that wasn't there for, two, for the second pin. I prefer two pins just for cheap insurance. So there you have it, folks. That's how I go about pinning out a crank on an LS engine. So that's just one more stride in the long voyage that is the Trailblazer SS project. Ah, looking at the clock on the wall. So I say ceiling, it's time for me to head on and keep on going at it. I gotta keep on going at it, I don't stop. No, all right? And I wanna say thank you. Thank you for spending time with me, looking at these videos, checking them out, commenting, everything like that. It's a beautiful thing, I really appreciate it. And keep it up because there's a lot more videos coming. And if you like what you see, if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. And while you're at it, there's this little bell. There's a little bell right next to the subscribe button on YouTube. You know that bell? That bell's for every time I put a video out, guess who gets notified? You. So let's keep this thing going because I really enjoy it. And I hope these videos are helping you guys out. I really do. That's what it's all about. That's what it's designed to do. It's about caring, sharing the knowledge. That's all it is all about. All right. But as always, be easy. And I'll catch you guys real soon. Yeah. Take care.